What's up guys, it's your boy DS, and today we're going to be talking about how to farm Cups of Cordiality. Now, I know I made a video yesterday talking about that as well, but this route is actually faster, so I want to go ahead and make this video for all of you guys, and on top of it being faster, you can do it much earlier. I know a lot of people said they were having problems beating the part 4 boss before you they were able to farm there, so this is actually a way that's faster, and you can do it much earlier, so I got you guys covered, I want to go ahead and make another video so you guys could all be on the same page. Now, the first thing that you guys need to do, and it's pretty simple, is you need to be on part 2. Now, after you're on part 2, it is going to be the third main battlefield called the Demon Fort. That is going to be the battlefield or main battlefield that you guys want to be on. Now, I'm pretty sure you have to beat this one as well, but after you beat it, everything else is super simple. Now, looking at the route, you guys are going to see, you're going to start here and you're just going to run. You're going to go up these stones or the wall. And you're going to basically be going straight for a decent amount. There's like one hard turn you got to make, but we'll, whenever we get there, I'll show you. So anyways, you're going straight, you're going straight, you're going to run past this guy, and you're going to make a left here, right? This is the turn. You're going to make a left here, and then you're going to keep going straight once you get in here. You know, try not to get hit by anything, and you're going to go to the right side, but you're going to keep going straight. And then, once you get through here, you're going to jump down, and you're going to hug the left side so that you don't, like, start up any enemies. Jump through there. And you're going to go through the gate. You see someone died there. Uh, you're going to go through the gate. And after going through the gate, you're going to keep running. And then you're going to run straight, but towards the left side. Now, you can just run past that. Run past any of the enemies. And then you'll get here. Now, this guy's probably going to hit you. You can block if you want, but whatever. Walk up the... Or walk up. Go up the ladder. And then once you go up the ladder, you'll make this right. And you'll go through here. And then you'll jump down. After jumping down, you're going to keep going. There's going to be the chest right here. And this is how you get the cup. Now, after that, you want to go into this left room right here. You're going to go ahead and put your battle flag down, and then you are going to reset. Now, like I said, you can do this a lot earlier in the game than the other one, and on top of that, it is faster. Not to mention, as you guys saw there, they give you a teammate, and he kind of took the aggro for the enemy, so I didn't get hit. It was actually a pretty cool thing that I didn't even mean to do, but it still happened. Yeah, but for anyone trying to farm cups, and a lot of you guys can't beat part 4 yet, this is also a really great way to do it, and like I said, it's faster, so there you guys go as far as that. But anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, comment down below, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.